Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Shadi Aqeel. In the presence of the Commander of the National Guard, Lieutenant General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, and Deputy Chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the Deputy President of the Supreme Council for the Environment and President of the Bahrain Royal Equestrian Endurance Federation, brief. Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club organized yesterday the 11th race of the season for the Cup of Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the Cup of Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the sons of Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Sheikh Hamad and Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa. Present were Sheikh Sultan al Din bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali Al Khalifa, Sheikh Isa bin Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, Sheikh Nadir bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, Sheikh Nuh bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, and sports enthusiasts. Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa honored the winners.
Under the patronage of the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Bahrain Athletics Association and Captain of Al Khalidiyah Stables, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness's Endurance Championship was held today in the Bahrain Endurance Village, which witnessed a wide participation and fierce competition. The personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports Chairman and Bahrain Olympic Committee President, Honorary Chairman of the Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation Brief, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa praised the efforts of His Highness Sheikh Khalid in supporting the endurance sport and his patronage of the championship, which has been successful on all levels. His Highness Sheikh Nasser congratulated the top three winning participants, wishing all stables and participants success in the races and championships of the Royal Equestrian season. His Highness hailed the efforts of the Royal Equestrian Federation, chaired by the Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Environment, Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid bin Isa Al Khalifa, and all the committees that contributed in the success of the championship. The three-day A in one Expo came to a close today at the Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Center. More in this report with Shogun Hamad. The first edition of the 18 one Expo came to a close today with the participation of more than 220 local and international exhibitors. The three-day event received a footfall of over 30,000 and showcased various businesses and stores. We decided to join this Expo because, first of all, we wanted exposure. We wanted people to know about us and what we do. And a second thing, we wanted to spread some awareness about uh, dental health in general, um, regardless if it's cosmetic, ortho, uh, implant, dental health from A to Z. People who visit our booth will be benefiting from 20% discounts on all our services and free consultations, so they'll have nothing to lose by visiting our booth. We have a special wood. This is solid wood thermo. We treat it with um, uh, special treatment, uh, actually to be not affected by the weather, by the humidity, by the uh, sun and heat which we are facing here. That's why lots of people are like not using the wood, the normal wood outside because of that. But with our wood, it's definitely different. We can use it everywhere we, we want for internal and external decoration. We are manufacturing the artificial marble, marble in Bahrain. So we, we are customizing all the wash basins and Korean top uh, for the kitchens, any design, any color. We are working since uh, 1994 and we need to show our product to the people uh, we are giving for 10 years of warranty. The idea behind the event was to have everything in one place so that shoppers could find anything they needed while saving time and getting the best deals. We are uh, introducing our services to the patient. The patient doesn't know about the TMJ and the sleep disorders. Most of the people here in Bahrain, they have problem with the neck pain, with the migraine, and they don't understand what is the causes. Most of the causes could be easier, but the people, they go here and there, they are looking for a treatment. So in our Smile and TMJ Dental Center, we are providing the latest technology in diagnosis and treating the TMJ and the sleep disorders. We're a real estate company that was established in 2009. We have had several projects uh, before. Uh, we had uh, investment and residential project, mostly in Muharraq, uh, where we try to uh, develop um, a really high standard space uh, for people. Uh, we have now in this exhibition uh, two projects, uh, basically Thuraya Residence, which is located in uh, Muharraq Head, 
and the second one which is called Thraya Suites which is an investment project in uh, Busaitin. We usually target mainly muscle imbalances, muscle synergy, sports injuries that are related to muscle imbalances as well. So we approach the patient as a whole. Uh, we kind of look at the patient from toe to head and from the head to the toe. So we look at the uh, foot imbalances, the knee imbalances, and fix the inflammations and the injury w uh, from the culprit. The expo is expected to make a larger return in 2019 and include even more exhibitors and new concepts. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Shog Mohammed. A very good evening. You're watching the Business News in Bahrain International with me, Hiba Abdul Ghaffour. Bahrain All Share Index closed this week with 35,700,003 shares, worth 4,624,562 Bahraini dinars, conducted through 444 transactions. Investors traded in 20 companies, where eight witnessed a rise in shares, four fell, and the rest maintained their shares. The commercial banks was the leading sector, and the investment sector came in second.